take a moment breather real quick. Welcome back to Let's Chat. Welcome back to Let's Chat, uh, episode five or six. I don't remember. It's been a while. It really has been a while, I guess. Um, yeah, this Let's Chat actually has gameplay in the background because I, in the last, like, month or so, only did a little bit of recording because it was the holidays and I wanted to see family. And if you don't like that, then I don't care. Family is more important than making YouTube videos. Eh, I don't have a fan base to argue with that anyways. Eh, eh. Family is more important than anything. But yeah. Um, yeah, I've not uh, put up videos in a while again because I've just been preoccupied. It's cold. Work's been taking a toll on me. I've been coming home and sleeping because as of now, work's been back on for about a week or so. And uh, we're busy. I'm tired. I come home. I sleep. I don't, you know, I don't feel like recording. You know, sorry. It's just the thing that happens. I've also been dealing with personal issues. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I have been having to deal with, uh, for some reason lately, I have depression, and it's been kind of kicking in. Don't know why. i just been kind of not in the mood to play video games lately. I just turned off my PS4 because I didn't want to play video games. I just kind of stared, and I was like, I'm not in the fucking mood for this today. <sighs> I'm just kind of bummed out. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have very bad socio-anxiety, and I also have very bad depression. Um, my depression started when I was very young. Um, I've just always kind of never really been happy because of, well, my mom's always... My mom gets it from my grandma, and I don't know who my grandma gets it from, but they've always been pushy for us to be like... Like, my mom is supposed to look like she's some high society, some bullshit like that. And me and my sister rose to be like, we're supposed to be the perfect kids. And that's always kind of depressed me because I've always been told, like, oh, you're fat, you're ugly, and shit like that. Like, I've always been told by my mom that being fat is not good and that if I don't start losing weight, then girls aren't going to like me and this, that, and the other, and... Yeah, it really sucks. Um, as also where socio anxiety comes from, because as I was growing up as a kid, I was growing up in that weird point in time, and where fat, uh, fat kids and fat people were kind of still laughed at in society. And I mean, later in life, it got easier because obesity and all that shit was becoming more of a regular thing. And well, now. We're at this point where now my socio-anxiety isn't that bad, but I still have some bad socio-anxiety problems for multiple reasons, and it's not it's not easy, especially with dealing with the depression. My depression is actually very severe. Well, it's not as severe as it was a year ago. Uh, my depression's been slowly pushed and pushed further and further down a kind of deteriorating hole up until it hit its peak last year. Pretty much what happened was is that I've always had kind of going in and out of depression. Like, I'm constant. like, I was con- I still am a little bit constantly going in and out of depression because it's kind of permanently burned into my mind. And I can't help it. It's not something I can just flip a switch and there you fucking go. Don't fucking, it does not fucking work like that. Depression's really hard to deal with. And those people out there who like to say, oh, you're just a whiny little bitch who wants attention. You can go fuck yourself right now. Because depression is a fucking awful, awful monster that ends up consuming your life, and it's very hard to deal with. My depression peaked, uh, what was it, last? no, it's 2015 now, technically it's two years ago. But basically, in 2013, in the summer of 2013, I had a very bad breakup with my first super like serious relationship. Well, things did not work out too well, and things escalated to a very big breaking point. 
we ended up breaking up. Um, I ended up being really fucked up in the head after that because I was just kind of like, you know, for serious relationship. But I've also kind of uh, was I was slowly reaching a boiling point. Well, that kind of set me over the edge. What happened was, was I broke up with this girl. And then I was immediately, like, beating myself up, thinking I was worthless. I ended up having to move out of the house I was renting and moving back with my parents, which made me feel like more of a loser. And then eventually, I just started feeling like so much of a loser that I was like, you know, fuck this. I tried to kill myself. It was a very dark point in my life. And after all this shit went down, and after I was just constantly beating into my head that I was basically worthless I just eventually kind of snapped out of it like I still got depression of course because that shit doesn't just go fucking go away it stays with you but I've kind of grown past that and I've kind of became a stronger person when all that shit was happening I nearly lost my job uh, my factory job I was constantly, because my depression was hitting such a bad peak, I was physically getting sick. Because I just physically had no energy and I just physically couldn't take it. And I was constantly going to work and I'd go in the bathroom, I'd throw up and I'd be like, boss, I have to go. And eventually my boss got tired of it and he's like, just fucking go, just fucking leave, you know. And he was pissed. He had all right to be pissed. I let my life become consumed by something that I shouldn't have let it. But also, depression. Depression makes things hard to deal with. Because depression can also be a gateway to other issues in your life. As, like, dependencies and things like that. Like, a lot of people have depression become dependent on, like, pills or drugs or pot. Because, hey, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel different. And, you know, <sighs> fucking shit happens. We can't control it sometimes. And sometimes it's really hard to overcome it. Like I said, I still have in and out episodes of depression where I just, I can't feel like I won't play video games. And it's really hard. And I really do enjoy playing fighting games. And I really do enjoy playing video games. I've opened up to doing small let's plays. But that's, I just, no, not yet. Not until I'm ready for, you know, to still kind of get my shit together. Because I'm still... Tired from work, and it's hard to deal with depression when you're tired and you just want to go to sleep all the time. It's also winter, and it's also fucking cold, so I'm also using up more energy to conserve body heat because where I work, they like to leave these fucking huge actual garage doors open. It freeze my fucking nuts off. And shit. God, all I feel is bitch. Huh. I don't know. Yeah, I just needed a good bitching fest. It's another thing. Is I'm also naturally a very angry person. I get that from both my parents. I also am very emotionally spastic, which is also something that I think that makes my personality actually better because having a spastic personality means I go from happy, mad, sad, you know, all that shit. And it kind of helps the depression kind of go away. You know, that's a good thing. Silver linings. Ugh. Jesus, I shouldn't drink all that pop. I'm really sorry. So unprofessional. But yeah, sorry about no uploads. I mean, you know, shit happens, man. All that shit happens. Sometimes, I don't know. You just gotta kind of, you know, be ready to move on and deal with it. And if I've learned one thing, it's that you can't let certain things also dictate your life. Like the girl I'm telling you about uh, first serious relationship of course you know I actually fell in love with her and I let that dictate my fucking life and let me tell you something right now that works for some people it does I'm not even gonna joke with you that does work for some people I've seen it but guess what it does not work for everyone it doesn't you know it's not you know there's no surefire method for every person you know to find their happiness everyone has their own kind of zen and all that shit so it's a variable and if I've learned anything, that variable has different kind of, you know, different things. And yeah, all you gotta do is try to keep your head up, and you know, things will get better eventually. Maybe not now, maybe not in a few days, but eventually things will get better. But you also have to make a push. If you don't make that push to try to make things better, nothing will get better, and you'll be stuck where you're at. 
oh, I hate my job. Well, if you don't either better your situation or find, you know, a way to resolve it, you're going to be fucking stuck. And depression? Yeah, I know you can't just do that with depression. I know you can't just sit there and say, hey, fuck you, depression. It doesn't work like that. And, yeah, it fucking sucks. I know. (laughs) But, you know, try to make the best of your life, you know? Sometimes things can get out of hand, and sometimes shit just happens. Thank you all for listening, and I hope you guys have a good day, week, month, hell, year even. And in the spirit of winter, stay frosty, people.